So friends, thank you so much for clicking. And as you might have seen from the title of the video, this is going to be a book review. And this is my second book review video that I am posting in my YouTube channel. So previously I have done a review on Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland and she was such an amazing author. So you can find the video link in the description. So here's today a review on Haruki Murakami's Kafka on the show. And I'm not sure if this is the correct pronunciation. So this is originally a Japanese novel and this has been translated into English by Philip Gabriel. So first of all, I would like to thank Philip Gabriel for providing such an amazing translation because this book has many vague concepts. And uh, while reading, I was highly impressed at how this translator has used the language to express those vague concepts and they were not original, right? They have been translated from some other language. So it was such an amazing job. So thank you, Mr. Philip Gabriel for that. And uh, I believe that I will be blabbering a lot of things in this video because I'm not going to cut any of my videos. So usually I'll speak whatever I'm feeling and that's what you will be able to see here. So if you want to know the review of this book as well as past time sign, okay, you can continue watching. So getting into this book, you can find a picture of a cat, right? So that was the exact reason why I bought this book because I'm an elderophile and uh, I thought that this book is going to be much about cats because at the back of the like cover, uh, there was a description saying that there will be a man in this book who will be able to communicate with cats. However, this book has only 10% to do with cats and I'm not disappointed at all. So. So from this, you must have guessed my rating for this book, right? So initially, uh, while I was reading, I was giving this book a 10 out of 10 because I wanted to read a different book, a different kind of book, okay? So I never expected that I will end up reading a very different book. So different than all the differences I have expected. So, and uh, as I said, so in the initial, uh, like it was 10 out of 10 and as I was getting into the middle of the book, it was still at 10 out of 10 and even towards the end of the book, it was still at 10 out of 10. But at the end of the book, I felt of drastically reducing the score. So why? Because you know that usually in stories, so some things will be happening, some people will be entering into picture and... Uh, as you move towards the end, you will know why these things were happening and who did what and who is this person and everything. So everything will come into clarity and make sense. And that's what makes the story, right? So, but this story has no end. Okay. So many people come in. Okay. And we will not even know who those people are. And many things will be happening. A lot of incidents will be happening. So, and initially what will happen means there will be two different streams of stories going on so there'll be two parts of stories and uh, usually readers will expect that these two stories will merge at one point make complete sense and the story will end but actually these two stories will merge at one point towards the end but the story will not end and nothing will make sense okay and only a small portion of the story will get completed and so because of this reason i wanted it to uh, get a score of only say 5 out of 10 or even less than that but then again my mind was contemplating and finally I am giving a score of 10 out of 10 so why because this story actually depicts life right in life we wake up every day we do some things and it doesn't go like a story okay so we don't know why we are doing these things we don't know why we are meeting these people. Many people get into our life and some people stay, some people go away. But we live each and every day communicating with those people, doing all these things. And it doesn't remove meaning from life. Okay, It's still life. Okay, We consider those as part of life and we don't consider them meaningless because they actually have meaning. Because that's life. Okay, <laughs> So I think I'm not confusing. And the story is like that. So, 
yeah it's life so many people coming <laughs> okay okay i'm not going to blabber anymore so the best thing about this book is that and this is the most thing which i will look into any book so i want a book to keep the reader occupied throughout and this book did the job 100% and that's one of the main reasons why i wanted to give this book at an out of 10 and also this book has many hidden meanings if we contemplate all the happenings in this book and one of the meanings which i contemplated as well as many like many readers like me have contemplated so it's nothing but uh, you will be happy only when you are in the place you belong so it it doesn't actually mean physical place it also means like the job we are doing okay the activities we are carrying out so if we are where we belong we will be happy and if we are not where we belong we may not be happy so that's one hidden meaning with this book conveys and there are many other hidden uh, philosophical content which this book actually contains and there is also one queer character in this book so usually in every book i read there will be a queer character and uh, i will not be knowing that beforehand so it feels like magic that every book i take okay i take one book out of 100 books and that one book actually has a queer character and the representation of that character is also good in this book so i love it and what else i wanted to say so okay i really wanted to talk a lot of things and i'm not able to remember at this point or maybe i think i have told you everything which i wanted to tell so hmm. yeah fine so i recommend this book to anyone who wants to pass their time as well as have some quality reading okay it's already 7 minutes and 35 seconds so i'm ending my video so meet you in another video